Okay, boys, the new OEMs are out, and I'm sure you are struggling to figure out how to go fast on these bikes, but don't worry. I am here, okay? And I have put a lot of time on these OEMs and testing, and since they've come out, just absolutely grinding, you know what I mean? So let's jump into a few things that I think are going to be helpful. Number one, okay, what we need to be doing is we need to be leaning forward. Currently, on the 18 bikes, leaning back and slightly counter -lean leaning was the absolute meta, and that really is no more it's a little bit reverse now we're a neutral and or leaning forward more stance on the bike is going to help you way more now this comes down to a couple things here leaning forward puts a little bit more pressure on the bike helps you rotate the bike but it also this is backwards when you lean forward he pulls the bike up to his chest right so that's gonna kind of tilt the bike back I know, I know that that sounded a little bit backwards there, but it's kind of the truth. You kind of, it just depends on the situation. If you're going slow enough where he can actually lean forward, uh, what it will do is it will put front end pressure on the bike. But also as you're coming out of corners, when you're leaning forward, he's actually gonna be putting pressure on the rear tire. And then what you can do is you can actually lean forward to put the pressure on the rear tire. And then you can actually shift the rider weight back to the rear which will ultimately put a little bit more pressure on the rear tire which will help you get a lot more track uh, hey post doc here i wanted to pause the video and just clarify on that the reason the leaning forward works sometimes for putting weight on the front end to help you pivot and other times to put weight on the rear end it's just basically if you're on the throttle the bike is already going to be stanced and the front end is going to be lifted up and in mx bikes when you lean forward he pulls the bars to his chest and so if you come out of a corner and you lean forward, it'll compound that, that rear end squat. Now, there is a point when he pulls the bars to his chest where then he does just lean on them. And so depending on how fast you're going or the situation, you may actually be leaning on the front tire, but you also may be leaning on the rear tire with the same movement of leaning forward. So you just have to pay attention to the speed and really what's happening. Like, if you're braking and you lean all the way forward, it'll continue to lean forward. But there is a point when he actually does unload the front tire a little bit and then put pressure on the rear, even in braking, but then he'll lean all the way forward. So just play with that. I just wanted to put that in there. Hopefully that clarifies, okay? Traction, I found myself doing this in Supercross where coming into the corner, leaning forward, and then I lean back up the face of the jump and it's not the seat bounce. There is no seat bounce mechanic in MX bikes. Don't let anybody tell you different. Once you lean back, it'll help you hook up a little bit and you can get a little bit more drive. Okay, that has helped me personally a ton on Supercross. Also in the turns, dragging your brakes a little bit, which means 10 to 20% on the brakes just to get the bike to rotate is really, really helpful. Ultimately, flat corners, you're just not gonna be able to go as fast as you used to, okay? You used to be able to just turn as long as your bars didn't hit the ground, you were chilling. You just can't do that anymore and i think we just gotta forget that and you're gonna have to adjust to this new play style with that said rider lean is just gonna be king moving forward at least in my opinion and at least in my experience right so leaning back if you're coming out of a corner that say a left hand corner leaning back leaning forward and then leaning back when it's hooking up and kind of leaning to the right to kind of offset the bike from kicking a little bit if that makes sense think of it like real life if you're coming out of a left hand corner and you're leaning into it when you hit the face of the jump it may wash out because all of your weight is going to the left when you go up the face of the jump now if you're leaning back and kind of hanging off the side of the bike it'll help that bike hook up i don't know if that makes sense but it's been working for me okay also uh your throttle control is literally the most important thing now if you go into a corner and you just grab the right trigger and you just grab a handful in a corner you're probably going to lose traction big time okay but if you're able to roll that on you can almost slide the rear end and then get on the throttle really really hard and it'll hook up for you i think these bikes actually have more straight line traction than the bikes we were on on the 18 version it's just when it hooks up right and it's just using the power of the bike to get the bike to actually hook up and not just before where we just 
had traction 24 7. the throttle is the most important thing right now aside from rider lean when you're going across bumps if you aren't careful and you're just wide open that rear wheel will just keep spinning every time it comes up off of a bump and it'll eventually rotate you whatever way you're leaning so you have to make sure that you're actually keeping power to the ground especially on slicker tracks that maybe don't have a ton of little tiny roughness and it's more just like a smooth track with some rounded off bumps you're going to be losing your rear end a ton if you aren't you know more consistent on that throttle and just more aware of where you're wide open versus where you're not wide open to me it's whenever i'm going to be upsetting the rear end whether it be through bumps or in a turn or whatever i'm just rolling off the throttle a little bit to help keep the traction you know going forward rather than spinning and then going more sideways but as soon as i come out and i'm ready to go forward you can then grab a handful and you should be going forward big time supercross this is amazing because i think you can come into bull turns now and you can initiate the slide early with the brakes which the brakes are really good now and then kind of roll the throttle on as you're starting to slide it'll carry that slide around and i found once you get to a certain point you can really get on it it'll hook back up straight and you can go straight that allows you to come in at a different angle than somebody else and hopefully cut down underneath them or you know cut down in front of them it, it offers a lot more variety in line choices especially in bowl corners now another thing that i have found and i have always used this but personally the clutch has been huge for me uh in since this update uh before i always use my clutch i have my clutch on a paddle because i use it a lot but specifically now I have found that if I'm going through a corner and I need to get that bike to hook up and go, I can just kind of grab me a little handful of a throttle, pop the clutch and it will spin and hook and go. Now, this is gonna take a lot of getting used to, I think. So I really want you guys to make sure you're taking the time to get used to these bikes before we're just, just being frustrated and bashing because we can't RT. Because I have found that it actually isn't that much different than what we had as far as your ability to carry momentum. It's just how you do it. Standing is also absolutely crucial now. Like before, standing helped you a ton through corners to keep traction, but the traction was so good it wasn't really that necessary. Like I didn't stand 24 seven and I was able to compete at a top level. I know a lot of other people didn't stand and they were able to keep it at a top level keep uh compete at a top level but the top top guys finn steiner all those guys were standing the whole time i have found that now that is even more applicable uh there's some footage i have on a tiktok maybe i'll throw it up here where i'm on a 125 literally just railing corners okay i didn't do anything you can see i'm not letting off i'm shifting up going into the corner but i'm standing leaning forward and what that does is when you stand it pushes the rear down and when you're leaning forward it actually is again pushing the rear down when you're going fast because he's pulling the front end to his chest and so it just keeps a ton of rear traction and that allows you just to absolutely go so fast uh now you're not going to be able to do that everywhere it, it's going to be very rut specific because if the rut is shallow uh, and your tire comes out, you're definitely going to get sideways. But for the most part, it is very, very, very usable. And uh, I have found that standing, leaning forward in corners, and maybe a little bit of counter lean is amazing. Okay. These bikes, in my opinion, this is the best tires we have ever had in MX bikes. It adds a skill gap without completely punishing you to where it is just impossible to ride. What I really like is when you do make a mistake by losing rear end traction, you typically won't be crashing. You'll just be sliding out and then pointed the wrong direction, which happens in real life. You see these guys go into bowl corners, they try to spin around, they get on the throttle too hard and they're pointed in the tough locks. And I'm pretty sure that is that, you know, that's the vibe I've been getting from these tires as well, where I can still go in there and try to pivot and send it really hard. But if I screw up, then you know, I'm going to be pointing the tough blocks, but it's not aggravating, right? It's like, dang, I made a mistake, not, gosh, why am I crashing 24 seven? These tires feel very intuitive. It is, it is di different, okay? I will tell you that, especially as you're getting used to them, you're going to feel like the rear end is coming around you a lot as you're coming into corners. 
Again, I would encourage you just to continue to lean forward, okay? That is what has helped me and kind of ride the brakes a little bit until you get the hang of it. But really, as you can see in the footage, once I've figured out how to ride these bikes, you can fly. Like you can go really, really fast. And I think ultimately these are gonna be really healthy for the game. I think Supercross is gonna be amazing. I'm really excited for Supercross. Once they get the distance scaling down for these bikes, the bowl turns, everything, I think it's gonna be awesome. Outdoors is a blast too. And all of the bikes feel very, uh, very equal. Like, I know I say that, you know, if any of you guys have been watching for a long time, I say that almost every OEM update, and there always ends up being a meta bike, which I don't really think there needs to be. But let me know what you guys think down in the, in the comments, because I actually do feel like these are really, really similar bikes. I mean, some are going to favor more people than others, but I have been having a blast on the Cowie, the Yamaha, the Zook, the KTM, the Husky. Uh, the only bike that's a little interesting to get used to is the Honda, but other than that, all the bikes seem really good. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. We're almost at 30,000 subs, and if you guys need anything, please let me know. My DMs are always open, and I'd love to be your friend.